Hello everyone from Tony the Scout Ghost. So today I want to do a super cool experiment with you. It's the start of my day. I want to start with lots of energy and luckily I have this special metaverse water with me. And it will give me the power of being a dragon. So I know you may say, Tony, this is just standard water, but let me surprise you. So let me take this bottle. What do you think? It's standard water. And let me put it in the glass. As you can see, this is not normal water. It has mixed reality effects. So now let me drink it. And let me show you that it will turn me into a dragon. So look. It's beautiful. Okay. Wow! Ooh. Oh, that was insane. This water is really magical, as I told you. Have I surprised you enough? Well, if this is the case, let me show you how I did it. So let me show you where is the rabbit inside my cylinder. It's actually a very technical thing. It's an open source plugin I did in Unity. You can find it on my GitHub. I will put the link in the description of the video that lets you interact with your bare hands with objects in your scene. So it's made of two different functionalities. The one is placement and the other is interaction. The placement tells the system where are the physical objects and interactions maps the uh, position of the physical object with some uh, interaction. So let's say this is interface for the placement. And so I will say that I want to place a bottle first. I created a Unity project with the, the reference of what is a bottle and a glass, of course. So now let me place it. You see my left hand is able with just a pinching gesture to put the collider of this bottle, which in this case is just a simple cylinder. So I have just to put this around my bottle. So make it of the proper size and position. And when I'm satisfied enough, I can select to place the thing. And that's placed. Maybe I can just move it a tiny bit to make it even more perfect. So now let me put a glass. So I select the glass, I place new object. Again, I can use my pinching to make it here. Theoretically, the idea is that you pinch the object to pinch also, to put also the collider. So something like this, it's a bit glitchy, still in alpha. So I confirm the placement. And now I set up the bottle and the glass in my space. The only thing I have to do at this point is save the setup. So save the current object, specify that I want the table as the reference system. So it will load this, save these two colliders with this reference system of the table that is consistent across all the run of the application and to save it in the objects load too. So save, and it's done. Now I say to my system that my two physical objects are there. Now it's time to do the interactions. So here I am inside the interactive part of the application, the one I showed you in the video. So after the placement of the objects, I can select in which slot I save them and I can load them. So if the interface decides to work, you can see that now I reloaded the elements as I put them before. And now I can finalize the placement to say that I'm fine with this and I don't need to do anything else because now I substituted those placeholder with the interactive colliders. My hand, as you can see, I activated some debug things to show you that the hand is an, as a reference system and can interact with objects. When I approach the, the bottle, the colliders on my fingers were detected by the interactive element, which has become green and now starts following my hand. So now the bottle now where it is because it tracks the hands. There are some glitches sometimes because as I say in the video where I go in the deep technical details about the system, I show you that there are some problems with the tracking of the fingers that are behind the bottle. Now, when I pour the water into the glass, the collider of the bottle collides with the collider of the glass. So now you may not see exactly that there are the stars, but they are, you can see a bit the fumes. 
The problem is that the shader of the glass is occluding with the pass through the special effects. But now when I will take the glass in the same exact way, and I move it, you can see that there are the sparks that have been activated by the colliders. The collider of the glass, when we collide with my head, will trigger the fire effect. So let me show you. Now I did the collision, and now there are the particles of the fire. And then I can keep track my glass because it keeps track in my hands. And when I open my hands, it doesn't track the glass anymore. So you see, it has also left the glass in a bit in a weird state now, but it doesn't care because in this case it was a one-shot application. So this was the magic behind it. As I told you, you can replicate something similar with this open source plugin I created, which is also a more a video with more than one hour of content to explain how it does work. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will enjoy mixed reality and live with some magic in your life. Bye bye.